and not just a politician, a man who has a robust experience in public and private life, a banker. Ladies and gentlemen, you can give him all the accolades. Tonight, his people has deemed the fit to see him at that higher chamber, which is called the Red Chamber, to have his voice led to also feel the good dividends of democracy in Nigeria, in Nazareth State. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, who the person can do their job? Thank 
you very much. Thank you, bro. We also have here with us all the chairmen who have also assisted to ensure that our pen went to all the grassroots in Nigeria, especially in national states, just to ensure that the come back victorious. They are also here with us. Special recognition going to Honorable Dr. Lee Madaki. Please a round of applause for him.
met. That is the time we were all wearing shorts in secondary school to this evening that we celebrate the biggest political sagacity that ever happened in our state. A political champion and indeed a leader. Right from secondary school, Ahmed Ali Wadada has always been a team player. In secondary school, he was a member of one of the biggest groups in our school called the Baddest Group. And as you would imagine, he was definitely the leader of the Baddest Group. That group drove and successfully defined the social life of the, that institution. Over time, he developed his career in banking and many of us benefited from his contact in that industry. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here to celebrate the most unusual political successes that ever happened in Nigeria. A man that took a political party afresh and drove into his success, and here we are. Ladies and gentlemen, the crowd this night more than defines for us the individual we're celebrating. The crowd is a mix of public servants, business magnates, both public and private, and without a doubt, the crowd defines Nigeria. I do not intend to bore you, so ladies and gentlemen, at this moment, I would like us to just give a round of applause to the distinguished senator that has excelled itself and has brought us this evening together. Thank you very much. DJ, let's still have more music in the house. I can still see more and more guests trooping in. Indeed, it shows that our old friend distinguished is a great man, a grassroots politician, a man who will change the respect of politics in Asrawa State. It's a big congratulations to you.
special recognition going to the Sarkin Shano Zaza Sulija, who has also made his way and he's well seated, well represented, representing that very beautiful constituency. Ladies and gentlemen, Al Haji Baba Suli, you're most welcome, sir. Wherever you're seated, you're well, well recognized. Sarkin Shano Zaza Sulija. Okay, you know, that's why sometimes we tell people, like, we from where we come from, especially in the South State, like, I can tell you're not from my place, and but for somebody like me, you know, the small people, they're poor. It's not a lie. We're poor. Obviously you're telling me and that's why there's diversity in culture and we enjoy that beautiful diversity exactly. and becoming one entity in Nigeria. And that is why I'm here to just support you. I don't know how you do this thing and that's why I'm here. I'm learning. Obviously we are enjoying every moment to give. It is an inaugural dinner tonight and we're all expected to have fun. The same depression is real. So you just have to be intentionally happy. Tonight we're celebrating our own, we're celebrating ourselves tonight, and I can see everybody's out here tonight and just supporting and having great fun. Yes, DJ, we still want more music in the house, and remember when we come back, we're going to be taking the good way messages. So please, first on the list, will be definitely the son of our own very distinguished senator who we celebrate here today. Alaji Abubakar Wadada Ahmed, taking the lead. You're most welcome. Very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Firstly, I would like to thank the Almighty God for letting us witness this amazing day. We also appreciate your presence on this special occasion. Very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Firstly, I would like to thank the Almighty God for letting us witness this amazing day. Also, we appreciate your presence on this special occasion. Congratulations to our beloved, hardworking, compassionate, and formidable dad, Senator Ahmed Nagayu. As an Israeli state indigent, known as Muslim, however, being part of the campaign journey really exposed me in depth to know how big my state is. I want to say thank you to my dad for giving me that opportunity. As it should be, or as is expected, during the campaign journey, he told me a few things, which are differences in cultures, leadership skills, time management, and the appropriate way to deal with people. For this, that I would like to thank you for giving me this opportunity to be part of the journey. And I pray the Almighty God gives you the strength wisdom, knowledge, to excel, and also to overcome your challenges. Thank you. Hope everyone enjoys the night. Please, can we put our hands together for an amazing son of a great father. And tonight, he has expressly shown that he has learned so much in this short period of campaigning, traversing through the length and breadth of natural state and getting to appreciate humanity. So let me warmly welcome Elaji Isa Modibo at this time to also add his voice to the beautiful thought of Goodwin messages to our distinguished senator. Elaji Isa Modibo, sir. Thank you very much, sir. And as the chairman of Street, the man who has been doing tremendous things in the prizing. A flood in Nigeria, ensuring that we get that stability 
and we are hoping to see more changes in that industry, which is a lot of experience. You're most welcome, sir. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let me, uh, let me stand on the existing protocol and to congratulate Senator Aliyu Wadada, who is a little brother. That is one thing which people must learn as a political sociologist. I believe in politics, every moment counts, every person counts, and in politics, what helps you to win is your wit, your creativity, and your ability to strike at the right moment. Those of us who are from Kefi, we welcome each and every person within our environment and within our community. But if you attempt to play that in, we respond, probably not in a native manner. What happened in Nazarao Waste Constituency, Senatorial Ward, is a lesson not only to uh, Senator Ali Wadada, but rather is a lesson in the limitation of arrogance. Wadada is a member of the APC. We belong to the same group. But at the point when the political situation got out of hand, we did everything possible to ensure that an amicable settlement was made. Senator Odana came to me at about 1 a.m. and told me I am going to contest this election. He didn't tell me where he was going to or how he was going to do it. In the morning, he told me I have decided to become to SDP. We sat, we discussed, and I said, May Allah be your guide. I went to Kefi. I think two weeks after. For me to get into Kepi was peculiar. I place a board, I say, honorable as he was then, I am in Kepi and I am going to come into Kepi, but the road is blocked. Where are you, sir? I told him. And within a very short moment, the road was open, not only to myself but to others. That was when I told somebody, I say in politics, I don't bet, but I can bet you unless if two things happen. Either at the end of the world, a car or whatever dies, is going to win this election. Election is about number. Election is about wit. He struck at the right moment. And eventually, he made it. And a punishment I want to make is that never, never you underestimate the dynamics of power. Never you underestimate those that you bring up, either as a colleague or as friends. Those of us who are in the scene now will only do best if we draw back and decide to say those who we have mentored, we should be able to assist them to see how best they can, can, they can contribute to the development of this country. I am proud to say that there are two people who I can comfortably say in the course of our discussion, in the course of our interaction, they have proved us right. One is Senator Wadada, the other is Babeshe, who has just left this place, who is the current chairman of Kenfi Local Government. Wadada, may your road be rough. May God continue to protect you and continue to be as humble as you can. Humility is a virtue. If you are humble in life, no force, no force can demolish you. I have tested it when I was in Kefi, as Kefi local government chairman, in spite of all odds. We did it with your support and others who are our government pleasure there. And we will continue to support you. I wish you all the best. And I wish others of your colleagues 
pool, you decided to take the bull by the horn. That is the essence of politics. That is the essence of leadership. And the God is going to guide us all. Those of you who come from far and near, may Allah take you back to your destination. I want to leave you with one verse in the Quran. I want any one of you, whether a Muslim or a Christian, to Google chapter 3 of the Holy Quran, verse 190. And I'm going to go to Allah says, in the behalf of Sabawati wal Arab, you have to laugh in the one and a half. The ayat in the Uli Laba. Allah did not ask for Uli. Allah did not ask for Uli. Yaman. Yaman. Wa Allah did not ask for Uli. 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 The essence is simple. In the creation of the heaven and the earth, there is a message for people of understanding. All that Allah is trying to tell you is no matter the power you have, no matter the essence you have, don't try to show arrogance. Greater people that have done that and they perish, one of them is the power. And there is nobody on earth who will have the power of Solomon. Solomon. So let's try to admonish ourselves, let's try to reflect, and let's try to think, and may Allah continue to guide us in order to be thankful. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together for those great words and prayers to our newest distinguished senator. Next on the list, giving the good message will be the former governor of Anambra State, very own distinguished senator, Andrew Barr. At this time, it's your time to give your good good message, sir, before you take your leave, sir. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. My name is Neda Andrew. I've known Senator uh, for since '99. I've known him. I'm one of those that we trust him. I wish you luck and pray that you know you one of the best in the city. I know you one of the best. I wish you luck and wish that at the end I'll be proud of you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, let me also quickly welcome Senator Jagash to also add his voice on this beautiful occasion. Please a round of applause for Senator Jagash at this time. Very distinguished and amiable personality. You can see his height. Amazing, his smiles are exceptional. Thank you very much, sir. It's good to have you tonight. Excellencies, the distinguished uh, ladies and gentlemen, I believe the protocols have been established, so I beg to stand by them and make my few comments since the night is uh, quite well spent as it were. First of all, we have to congratulate our brother. How best can we do that? Is to thank the Almighty Allah for granting him the victory that uh, today is known as Senator Ahmed Ali Wadada. Senator Ahmed Ali Wadada used to be in the house, then was Ali Wadada. Before that, it was Ahmed Ali Wadada, who was a friend of so many. Clearly, Senator Wadada is somebody that has come into the Senate at the right time. Our country is going through a lot, and the transition is on everybody's lips right now. The quality of people who have taken over the mantle of the National Assembly need people like Senator Wadada to move the National Assembly forward. I recall that I was in the Senate over 20 years ago, 2003. So the Senate in 2023 and the Senate in 2023 are probably different types of environment. Things are more complex today. The players are more intense. And the politics is extremely fragile and difficult. But Senator Wadada, as I told him, when congratulating him that he's a unique 
senator. He always stood like an independent. He beat the senator candidates in the APC and the PDP and won. Why did he win? I recall in 2019 he was interested in running for the governorship. We discussed, but he said he has decided to withdraw and support the present governor of Nasrallah State. And I asked him, was there a deal so that in 2023 you'll be running for the presidency, for the governorship of Nasrallah? He said, not necessarily, but he believes that at that right time, he was going to let him go. Today he stands called as a senator representing Nasrallah West. We believe the environment is very opportune and for him to be able to carry out his duties as a senator of the Federal Republic. As a senator, he's a senator of the Federal Republic, not a senator of Nasrallah West. He may be representing Nasrallah West in the Senate, but he's a senator of the Federal Republic, meaning he's representing all Nigerians from every group and country, from every state, and from every zone. I want to congratulate Senator Badada and being a friend and an elder brother to him will be there to support him, to guide him, and to continue to cross him up. You can see the kind of uh, array of people who are here from almost every state you find a representative. Either in business or in politics, Senator Wadada has crossed so many and has affected and touched the lives of so many. He's somebody you can rely on, He's somebody who is there for everybody, and he has somebody who has always supported people whenever they have trying or challenging times. So without going too far into details, I pray that the Almighty grant you good health, the strength, and the capacity to deliver as a senator of the federal republic. God bless. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. This is a round of applause by our own distinguished Senator Tagash for those thoughtful words. Ladies and gentlemen, next on that list, I will be inviting Sir Teddy Wire at this time to also deliver his special goodwill message on this auspicious occasion. Sir Teddy Wire, if you can hear me, please, can we have you at this time for your goodwill message, sir? Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. I've just been informed that Sir Teddy Wire has left, so let me also have the honor and privilege to quickly invite AF Sahar, please, for his goodwill message. AF Sahar, please. Thank you very much. AF Sahar, please, can we have you at the side for your goodwill message?
you don't need to be told what happened. They have failed. I'm sorry. This is the fact. I'm a Nigerian. So if 70% will not come back, then there's a problem. And this is the right time for people like Ahmed to be there. He doesn't fear. If he sets his target, he achieves it. I don't want to drag the whole thing. Since I say I know him for the past 35 years, so I know him for most of his life. And I have everything to say about him. I'm here to defend him, to encourage him, to pray for him, and above all, to pray to Allah to give him the wisdom, the courage, and the ability to navigate the, 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 the tenth standard. We have a dream, inshallah, after this one, and I want us all to, to pray for him. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, you are welcome. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Please can we put our hands together for those who are messages going out to the celebrant and uh, let me quickly invite uh, the packet chief Kefi who is representing the Emirates Council of the Kefi Dynasty. Please can we ha well have you at this time the custodian of culture. Please a round of applause for him, the packet chief Kefi. Most welcome sir. Assalamu alaikum. I wish to, on behalf of His Royal Highness, the Emir of Kefi, congratulate once again our distinguished Senator, Senator Harvard, Ali Odada, for on his inauguration as Senator representing Ms. Lahore West. I will want to go philosophical and uh, I want to quote a verse in the Holy Quran which Allah says, Uli Lahuma Malika Hulk, Tuti Mulka Mantisha. This verse talks about the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in giving honor to whom he wants and in withdrawing honor from him whom he wants. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has clearly shown that he is the almighty and the wise. We congratulate you on this victory and we want to encourage you to be steadfast, to carry each and every member of your constituency along in the discharge of your duties and responsibility. And you should also instill the fear of God in whatever you do. And surely you will continue to triumph above all odds. Uh, finally, I would want to draw attention to each of each and every one of us with this famous quote of uh, the former governor of Kaduna State, late Alaji Balari Musa, in 1981, when he said, and I quote, We are living today in times of great changes. The old order is crumbling fast. A new system of life and activity are uh, emerging. Our task is to understand these changes and utilize them for human progress. Thank you.
Thank you very much. And indeed, you just had those beautiful words of wisdom, prayers coming on behalf of the Kefi Emirates from the Fakachi Kefi. Thank you very much, sir. It's good to have you extend those beautiful words and knowledge. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to thank another very formidable group in our midst here tonight. Let their voice on this beautiful occasion, and that's the Northern Reawakening Forum. Please welcome the Vice Chairman, Distinguished Senator Jack Yakubu Pan. Please a round of applause for him, please. When I get into the heart, honey, in the woods, you talk, I want it. The Northern Reawakening Forum is a formidable forum in Nigeria. We are regulating the consciousness of good governance in Nigeria, integrity, protecting the politics of our country. And the Vice Chairman is leading this formidable goal. Hello? Where are all the other members of NRO? Some of them will come to the future 
and by the grace of God, Nigeria will be better for it. We know that it is not just Madada, but somebody that God has destined for greatness and for power. He has gone through turbulent political. We are going to become a political struggle. I am also 40 miles away from the promised land. I'm not senator. But by the grace of God, I will be one time at the time that God gives it fit. But for now, we are rejoicing one of our own. And we want to assure you that the ninth assembly, by the grace of God, will be very, very interesting. Just watch out and see what will happen. Thank you and God bless. There are special greetings to uh, distinguished Senator Ahmed Ali Wadada from one of our very privileged uh, members, His Excellency, the Ambassador of Nigeria to Germany. Uh, he specially called me to uh, extend his greetings for this special moment. He celebrates with us there. Our boss, you want to say something? No, 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 no. Alright, thank you very much. So thank you. I think it's time for dance, 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 dance. Thank you very much. Yes, we are going to enjoy this dance floor. But I need to call, I need to quickly call on the, the chairman of Senator Wadada Advisory Campaign Council. Professor Silas Gaia, please, can we quickly have you to give your good way message on this very beautiful occasion? I'm sure everybody wants to enjoy this dance floor, but let me have the honor and privilege of having you also extend your thoughts on all the good way messages that have been given to the celebrant. Honorable Sheo Saleh, Honorable Sheo Saleh, please, can we also have you at this time? to also give your thoughts. Okay. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I would like to start on the existing protocol that has already been established. It's quite an awesome moment to have a word to say a good message on this occasion. The data has proved to me that when man is determined to do something and is resolute about it, he would necessarily have to be good to get the result he deserves. When the way was getting very tough, on the APC platform, a gentleman decided he would buy his train on another platform. The situation was looking very murky and indeed very challenging. But he took the bull by the horn. Yeah. And the campaign council saw that in him and decided to stand by his side. It was a very tough battle. And I think that the energy we got, apart from the one we got from God, we got far more of it also from Dada when he was Dada. It was a very tough battle. And there was no campaign ever done. In this senatorial district, like it was done during the last elections, we could see that we are riding on our boat against the tide. The true sheer determination and resilience, courage, but there were another scale too. And at the end of it all, it turned out to be that. There was no battle at all. Because if you are contesting an election and your opponent gets 
half your votes. And you are running towards a hundred thousand votes. Then it was not a contest. I had occasion to say it was not only a landslide victory, but it was a sky slide victory. We know something that is characteristic about the Stevens in the Wadaya. He's amiable, very friendly, and has a free minded character. One attribute about Wadada that presents him acceptable is that Wadada runs his life devoid of sentiments. He's genuine, pragmatic, fearless, and dogged in the pursuit of that which is good. We like to congratulate Wadada, we like to thank his good friends. We love to thank the electorate and we believe that Nasarawa West Senatorial District is offering the Senate one talent that Nigeria would want to be great in hand. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. We're so grateful to have those beautiful talks and those beautiful words. Sir, please. Mr. Shiro, sir, I'd like to say we're ready for you. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I wasn't expecting to be called to say anything on a night like this. Bonana and I have come a long way. I'm very sure most of the people here only know us during our days in the House of Representatives. Bonana and I have come a long way, 43 good years together. I can only say one thing about Bonana. Many things about him, or most of the things that I wanted to say, or I would have wanted to say, have been said. I do not want to repeat them. I will pray for him. But the people of Nasarawa West, I would not only congratulate you, but I will commend you also by sending one of our finest to the 10th Senate. Bros, as I fondly call him, and as we fondly call ourselves, I wish you all the best. The people of Nasarawa State, Nasarawa Waste in particular, I can tell you that you have done the good thing. I was expecting it. I remember when he was going to take the bull by the horn. He called me up and he said, Bros, I am moving to SDP. I said, No, Bros. And this, this is what characterized my relationship with him. He was our chairman some 20 years ago, as our elder brother said, uh, distinguished senator Salish Takash. We used to call ourselves the group of under 40s. Now we are nearly 60, most of us. Time really flies. Bros, I wish you all the best. We will pray for you. You can see genuine love from all the people here. And this is because of the person that you are. Humble, your humility, your compassion. I have always said that all of us, friends and brothers that started our political careers in 2003, Wadada remains, and I know that he will always remain the best of us. Bros, I wish you well in the 10th Senate. Allah Shia Please can we put our hands together for those very touching and um, most exciting words coming from Elijah like Shield. Thank you very much. We must thank you for those beautiful talk. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I'm going to be presenting to you the man of the moment, the man who has brought a whole lot of presence 
uniting Nigerians in this hall from the east, the west, the south. The man who has been a two-time House of Red member and right now have moved to the higher chamber, the red chamber of the National Assembly of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I'm talking about no other person other than the singing Senator Amanda Shadow. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, uh, our eloquent uh, MC. Uh, before I say anything, I want my two wives to be by me. Maria, my wife, and Zena, my baby. You should know that I have a wife and a baby. To my Christian brothers and sisters here, I say shalom. Uh, I will say what I said. I would like to start stand on already established protocol. I thank Allah for today and thank all of you for sparing your time to be with us as a family. My gratitude to Almighty Allah cannot be quantified by anything because God has done it all for me. But you, you should know, or oh, as you know, in every divine outing, there is the human aspect of it. For all those that God has done for me, it is because of the support, cooperation and understanding of everybody here. But the first most important cooperation understanding that anybody can have that could pro propel and really bring out the best in that person has got to do first with the kind of family life he has. I cannot thank my wives enough for their understanding, for their love, love for me, and the understanding that exists between them. They, in fact, uh, I am beginning to be scared because every morning, every morning, when you see Maria on the phone, talking and smiling. I used to ask, and she would tell me, no, I'm talking to Zena. Uh, it got to a point that I stopped asking, and I was telling myself, I really need to be careful. And when would Zena, when I see her talking, but because she's younger, and moving away from where I am, I know she's talking to Maria. Uh, May God bless you. May God reward you abundantly. Amen. Any man that does not have a peaceful home cannot do anything good anywhere. 
unless if he's an irresponsible man. Unless if he's an irresponsible man. Thank God I am responsible. You tell them the rest. Huh? That is, uh, that's about my spouses. The next I will thank are my siblings. My siblings have been wonderful. They have been caring. Nobody within our local community that is in the trade or in the endeavor that I am in, that is politics, that gets all his siblings to rally around him at every time he is out for electioneering campaigns. My siblings, Aji Aladi, Alilu, Omar, Amina, Memuna, Zena, Halima, and Yahaya, the rest of them, I mean, I mean for, for time, I, will, I may not be able to call all of them. I thank you very much and I pray God rewards you abundantly. Having left home, life began for me when I started my primary education in Kefri, Abdizanga Second and Primary School. I compare the system master, I'm sure is here, popularly known as Usman Boss. Usman was my classmate in primary school. I had the best of uh, growth in my primary school days. Uh, my classmates or schoolmates in primary school that are here, you also take my appreciation and my prayers for you to remain blessed. After Kefi, I found myself in government secondary school, Biango, which was Equa, it was Equa Community Secondary School. There I met U.S. Malami. U.S. Malami will always tell you that he was my senior. He was only one year ahead of me, so please. <laughs> U.S. Malami was there before us and he was supportive because he knew the environment before us. He was very, very supportive. My classmates, uh, Ahmed Azos is here, a.k.a. with Chamberlain. Balarabe is also here. For Balarabe, I need to say something because we all had nicknames. Balarabe didn't have a nickname and he was worried. I said, don't worry, I'll give you a name. And I gave him the name Peyton Pastor. Uh, our soldier in Miango led us, or led, yeah, led me and by extension us to knowing uh, Honorable Aliu Bello. Aliu Bello, I met Aliu Bello courtesy of my dear home friend, Janaj and Kefi Gabus. And I was always complaining to Gabus, what are you doing with this life here, boy? What? Aliu Bello turned out to be a very, very wonderful brother. Aliu Bello is beyond a friend. May God bless you and uh, reward you abundantly. The history of my life cannot be written without Al Haji Abdul Fattah Saad being mentioned. Abdul Fattah Saad, his late father, Al Haji Inua Saad, of blessed memory was a very famous non person in Jos. And he had a relationship with my late father as well. Abdul Fatah and I had never met, but his late father was my guardian. Abdul Fatah was always in Medjugri. Uh, Anytime I was in Jaws, he was in Medjugorje. When he comes to Jaws, I will be in, in Kefi. I met him for the first time 
1988, when I was employed by the then United Bank for Africa Limited, the present day UBA PLC. He was my manager. Abdul Fattah drew me closer to God because of my appreciation of the person and personality he was to me and is still to me. I had to name my first child after him, Abdul Fattah. He is here. Sir, I cannot thank you enough. May God reward you abundantly. Back home, I had mentors growing up. Whoever does not have mentor or mentors growing up may not really get it right. Uh, Bala Ishaq Mohammed. Sir, I cannot thank you enough. He's been a big brother, a big supporter. He supported, he saw me grow and supported my growth. Allah Shibiaka. My brother, Alaji Isa Modibo, who had spoken earlier, Alaji Isa Modibo, uh, was also a mentor, but in a different way from Alaji Bala Muhammad. Isa Modibo, what you taught us, the radical way, positive radical way, has contributed to what I am today. Because the first thing one does in life is to discover himself. It is only when you discover yourself that you will be able to do what is required of you. You gave us confidence. You gave us courage. You gave us access. Where access was not possible, you created it. Where we felt we were not up to, you made us felt we were up to. And that's why there is nobody that we cannot stand before and express ourselves. My elders back home, I thank you. I cannot thank you enough. My big brother, Alaji Nalla Di Halilu. Alaji Nalla Di Halilu did all that I said, uh, the earlier names I mentioned did, and he's still very supportive. We are in politics. I tell you one drama that happened in 2019. Myself and my elder brother, Naladi Anilu, aspired, or were at that time, aspiring to the governorship of Nasrallah State. And at a point, at the grounds of the primaries, we, we thought of coming into an understanding so that one of us or two of us will withdraw for. So my big brother looked at me and said, and said to me, uh, I, my brother, Kanina, I said, sir, I think uh, you should withdraw for me. I said, fantastic idea. If I don't withdraw for you, who would I withdraw for? But for all that you have been doing for me, wouldn't you want to see in your life that that young man, your own junior brother that you have supported to grow, has grown. I think it is best you would draw for me, sir. <laughs> well, it came and it's gone. Gentlemen and ladies, my sojourn at the National Assembly politically added so much to where I am standing today. My brother, Honorable Sheikh Usale Hassan, when we got to the House of Representatives, I, I created an association then 
Bros, can you imagine? We are no longer on the 40s. <laughs> I created an association of the, of the 40s. And Shehu Sada Hassan was the co-coordinator. I enjoyed tremendous support from them. And that propelled us, that supported us and aided us or assisted us in what we did at the National Assembly. Ross, Shehu Sada Hassan, Al Makura, Tambual, Timeji Bankole, and the rest of them that are not here convey my gratitude and appreciation to all of you for the support you gave me as a coordinator. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, I, need, I need your prayers for the blessings I have gotten in politics. The expectations from me are so high. And no man, no matter the capacity he has, can meet up to those expectations without Allah's hand. I need your prayers so that God will continue to guide, bless, and protect my stewardship. May Allah reward you abundantly for coming to, to, to I mean, for being with us tonight. And I wish you journey mercies back to your various destinations. I love you, my wife. I love you, my baby. <laughs> Sir, you did not say you love your MC too. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, an amazing world, and that is all most looking like uh, the vote of thanks for tonight's event. But again, just to add to those beautiful words that have come out from our own very distinguished senator, I'd like to quickly call on Barrister Abdul Hadi Abdullahi to quickly give the vote of thanks. Santura Kiana, please can we have you at this time take the vote of thanks so that we can start enjoying ourselves. The DJ is here for us and we need to enjoy the dance floor. Okay, um, distinguished gentlemen and ladies, the night has been well spent. My job has been very easy. Distinguished Senator Wadada has already given the vote of thanks. Mine is just to add one or two words that he required prayers from us. Ladies and gentlemen, this distinguished senator that Nansua State has unleashed on the 10th National Assembly is about to demonstrate his capacity, is about to give justice to the legislative agenda. You will all recall during his days at the House of Representatives, Honorable Wadada was a tsunami. I recall meeting him several with bills that I come out to you and to the development of Nigeria, and he was very kind, and he was quick to assist, to be the leadership there. Right? My relationship with Honorable Wadada led back to more than 45 years since our youth, and we have been together. It has been a wonderful journey with Honorable Wadada. And you are going to have a wonderful tenure as to the 10th Senate. My prayer for you is that you will succeed. Remain focused, remain steadfast, and be as fragile, as prayerful as you can be. On behalf of his friends, family, and the good people of the South State, and all of us here, we wish you Johnny message back to your respective homes. We are very grateful for your presence. You have had color, you have had everything to us. We thank you most sincerely. Thank you very much. Please a round of applause. Thank you very much for that wonderful vote of thanks. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've had a very good, memorable night. Again, it's your host, Mos Roland, and I hope you enjoyed every moment of this event. I'll not leave in the hands of the DJ. The dance floor is shut open. I'd like to celebrate all the beautiful women in the house, all the mothers, Hajia, Miriam, Hajia, Zainab, all the Hawas in the house. Please, can we make the dance floor a memorable one? DJ, let's go there.